We also introduced the new game changer, the WOOC fast charging technology in 2015. Five minutes charge for two hour talk. This unit future of the internet connectivity in our high growth market across Asia gave us that great innovation base. We identify and solve critical customers' needs, challenging that existing standard of smartphone industry. Opal is in the land list quest to create high quality smartphone for consumers around the world. This experience shape us a company and a part of our adventurous DNA that we call today our spirit of exploration. We took a step forward on our global expansion into Europe. We introduced Opal into France, Italy, Spain, and the Netherlands last year. With a lot of preparation, we launched our fresh product, Fundex. Fundex introduced a new design that averted that inspection of smartphone industry. The world's first sliding camera, that aesthetic design, that panoramic screen, and a super walk, fresh charging, that could go from the zero to 40% in just 10 minutes. So far, our trajectory in Europe have been more smooth and stable. We encountered many great business partners, creative young talents, and innovators. Our retail partners have given us enormous support from the beginning of our launch in Europe. And we feel very lucky to work with our partner carriers, such as Swisscom, Orange, Telefonica, and T-Mobile, and many more. 2019 is a very special year for us because our expansion into Europe coincides with a new era of innovations that goes beyond the connectivity. This January, we launched into the UK, Poland, Turkey, and at the beginning of April, we launched in Switzerland. Today, you can find OPPO products in more than 40 markets worldwide. And the number of our smartphone users has exceeded 250 million globally. I would like to figure out our focuses in the next decade. Firstly, Euro is our new strategic market, especially in 5G development. Europe is the one of the early adopters of 5G infrastructure deployment. We set up our 5G standardization team as early as 2015 to focus on the research and development of 5G standards. We believe 5G is the new challenge and opportunities for OPPO. And it is our ambition to make 5G a tangible reality for our users. It's not a cold incidence that we are here today in Zurich. Just two weeks ago, 
we launched the first 5G ready smartphones in Switzerland with our partner, Swisscom. <laughs> we are closely connected to the reality of 5G era, and we are excited to assess the community to go beyond the connectivity. Secondly, OPPO is expanding new business in IoT devices. In addition to our smartphone business, we will introduce more IoT devices and service across AI, wearable devices, smart home, and healthcare. We want to build an adaptive infrastructure that listens to what our users need and create value for them. Finally, we are committed to become the brand loved by the young customers in the next few years in Europe and to consolidate our positions across innovation. Our R&D plays a critical role in our innovation process, and it determines the future technology and capabilities that will be transformed into new products and service. This year, our investment in R&D will reach 1.5 billion US dollars. To focus on the potential of 5G, AI, photography, and IoT devices. OPPO will keep creating products and services to solve real life customer needs and spark joy along the way. Now, to introduce OPPO's Reno series, let's welcome our marketing. Manager Sanya to the stage. Welcome. Thank you, Vincent. Hi, everyone. I'm Sanya. Thank you for coming to our Reno Series launch event. When we created the first OPPO smartphone, we wanted to create a product that really spoke to our consumers' needs. As the smartphone becomes more and more popular, we understand that it can sometimes feel as if the product differentiation comes in the optimization of specs. However, there is more to a smartphone than its technology. As you can see today, with all my colleagues in this room, OPPO is full of energy and creativity. <laughs> we don't define ourselves by our age, but by our cheerful mindset and attitude. We are passionate and desire to create a product that will get people excited. Last month, we launched our new global OPPO brand to bring together our spirit of exploration and creativity. And our human-centered philosophy inspires us to go beyond the obvious in our innovations and designs. We believe that the role of technology is to be as seamless as possible and to inspire us to look out into the world. And our Reno series takes this human-centered design one step further. A smartphone is one of the very few items that are so close and connected to our lives. Every single smartphone is unique, not because of its brand philosophy, technology, or design, but because of the individuals who owns it. We created Reno in celebration of its unique users and their fearless self-expression. Reno inspire us to go beyond the obvious and also show us there are so many ways to see and experience the world. Our product embodies that thinking. When we created Reno, we were determined to bring the inside world of the phone to the outside and to celebrate our users' unique taste and perspectives. And this is why 
we are committed to develop a co-creation platform with the creative communities across Europe. Last year, we launched our new design center in the heart of London to engage with the designers and artists who are pushing the boundaries between art and technology. And we also partnered with the Royal College of Art in London. And earlier this month, we took part in Milan Design Week to showcase the work of our talented designers. You will see that our Reno is highly aligned with the interests of its users. Its design is rooted in contemporary culture and its function offers greater space for visual interaction, photography, entertainment, and social experience. Our Reno is ready to go, and you can always count on it to fuel your imagination and to make your story unmissable. A young mindset and youthful energy have always been a part of Opal's DNA. Embracing innovation and change is an important part of what it means to be young. With our Opal Reno launch, we are excited to push limits, embrace transformation, and to create a future together with our users everywhere. Now, I will leave you with a video to show what we are all about. Thank you. Every story is an idea. Every image is a unique point of view. We go all in for trends, constantly reinventing them, playing, mixing, and remixing pop culture. We define ourselves through the images we create. Together, we are a non-stop, can't-stop tribe of image makers and storytellers. Every story you imagine can be captured, going beyond the obvious to find new angles pushing frontiers to look at the world with fresh eyes. A story is an idea, but it's the people that reveal the depth of it, that magnify it, move the story forward. Fuel your imagination to make your story unmissable. Opo Reno, beyond the obvious. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Andy Cheng, product manager at Oppo. In OPPO, we believe that a smartphone is more than a tool of communication. It's for, uh, for work or for leisure. It's an item that we spend so much time in our hands that such a central feature for our lives should also have a source of delight and inspiration. Now, we are taking this philosophy one step further to create a phone that's powerful and aesthetically captivating, the Reno 10x Zoom. <laughs> Harmony, symmetry, and balance are long-standing aesthetic concepts that transcend in time and space. The Reno series unified design delivers a naturally slick and smooth finishing. Reno is different. We completely hide the, back, uh, the rear camera, and the back cover is a single piece of 3D glass. We applied gem setting artistry to embellish a ceramic old dot. It's an extraordinary addition that gently lifts the camera and protects the phone when it's placed on a flat surface. We are also known for our bold usage of colors. With, with, uh, with Reno, we've opted for colors that's inspired from the nature. The Reno series comes in two beautiful shades, the ocean green and jet black. The jet black is an elegant mix of gray and blue. The ocean green reminds of the sea light colors. We also introduce a matte texture underneath the glass surface to give a delicate touch and balances the light and shadows. Let's look at the front of the phone, a full screen. Whether you're watching a video, playing a game, or browsing the internet, 
the Reno gives you the most complete viewing experiences possible. The Reno 10 times zoom features a 6.6 inch panoramic screen, completely notchless, with no pause and no interference. And the bezels on both sides are only 1.63 millimeters, and the lower bezel is only 3.5 millimeters. This achieves an amazing 93.1% screen to body ratio. <laughs> We look at our phones probably a few hundred times per day. That's why we like to create a screen that's aesthetically captivating and also optically calming. So firstly, we upgraded to a new light emitting material, which fully covers the DCI P3 color gamut. And secondly, the power consumption of the new material is 8% more efficient. And thirdly, we also improved our blue filtering capabilities by over 56%, so that eyes are well protected even after long usage. Our eye protection mode has also passed the low blue light eye protection certificate by Tooth Highland, one of the world's leading companies in product certification and testing. The screen uses Corning Gorilla Glass 6, the greater strength of this glass makes an even stronger and durable screen that can take on many more phone jobs for a daily class clumsiness. So lastly, many of our users are concerned about low light strokes. Therefore, we added a DC dimming switch. This inevitably will cause color tone deviation, but for those who are very sensitive, to low light stroke effects. It will be a great option. The new Reno features under uh, uh, the hidden finger uh, unlock 2.0. In addition to upgrading the structure and algorithm, we introduce our compensated projection algorithm. Our solution cannot accurately compensate the uneven lighting caused by the optical structure and the brightness of the whole fingerprint can be much more even. Compared with the previous generation, the speed is increased by 20 to 30%. Now you may wonder, where is the front camera? Reno, say hi to everybody. It takes only 0.8 seconds to complete the entire rising action. We introduce the pivot rising structure with a golden spiral angle at 11 degrees, perfectly integrating the elegance and agility in a dynamic rising process. The structure has passed strict quality testings and can be used for more than 200,000 times. Even if Average users use it about 100 times per day. It can maintain over five years of usage. If you drop the phone while taking a photo, our drop protection mechanism can automatically retract the camera to prevent any damage. Now, let's move on to camera. The Reno series is a representative of our smartphone photography. And this year, at the Mobile World Congress, we announced 10 time hyperzoom, the most powerful feature of the Reno 10 time zoom. I believe that all of us have been in this kind of situation before. In a large conference room, you cannot take a clear photo of the keynote content because you are too far away. Or after taking a photo of an important information, you later find that information is too blurry to read. So the Reno 10 time hyperzoom can solve all these problems. Let's look at some samples. Your phone could only capture clear photos within the distance. With the 10 time hyperzoom, you can just stand still and choose whatever zoom you want. 
we want the phone to do more of the technical heavy liftings so that you can be much more spontaneous and creative. To take mobile photography further, our research and development team put in a lot of effort. Firstly, the Reno 10x Zoom features a tri-lens full focal lens ca uh, capability with 48 megapixels HD primary lens, a 30 megapixels tiny lens, and an 8 megapixels wide angle lens. The three lenses together achieves a coverage of 16 to 160 millimeters. The primary lens employs a dual optical image stabilization and a closed loop focusing motor as well as three different focus modes. The face detection autofocus, the contrast detection autofocus, and the laser detection autofocus. The telephoto uses a periscopic structure placing the original vertical lenses horizontally. This allows light to reflect through an optical prism and skillfully resolve the thickness problems. Within such limited space, we use the D-cut technology to achieve the largest aperture and the maximum optical size. The module reaches f3.0. When taking a long zoom photo, the slightest shaking can result in a very blurry image. So we introduce the prism optical image stabilization, which adjusts the optical path and eliminates the tiniest shake. We attach the same importance for both long and close shots. The ultra wide angle offers a 120 degrees wide angle range. And with the help of a closed-loop uh, close motor, the focusing speed is much faster and reduces noises. So next, let's talk about the Ultra Night Mode 2.0. Dark interior scenes has always been a tricky part. The new Reno series can now capture ultra-clear photos with vivid lighting, thanks to the Ultra Night Mode 2.0. The primary lens uses Sony AMX586 with a 4-in-1 resolution focusing, 1 over 2 inch ultra-large sensor, f1.7 ultra-large aperture, and laser detection autofocus, which truly is a high-end configuration for camera hardware. Instead of 4 to 5 seconds, we introduce an AI compensation algorithm to accelerate the processing speed to two to three seconds. Let's look at an example. In handheld mode, an Ultra HD night shot is composed of five photos. In the tripod mode, it's composed of up to 17 photos. High dynamic range reasonably controls exposure in bright areas and enhances the details in the dark areas. In addition, the Ultra Night Mode 2.0 captures photos with different exposure and identifies and processes the face and background separately, achieving a clearer background and a more vivid skin tone. Visage protection is applied with low exposure and reduces noise undergo HDR fusion. The software identifies the precise edge of a human subject and accurately separates the subject from the background and processes correspondingly. In the camera interface, you can see the, color, uh, the dazzle color mode. It automatically repents and restores the background colors from the original environment. Additionally, we also redesigned the portrait mode, the OPPO Artistic Portrait Mode, which brings together bouquet colors, light effect, and software optimizations. We finally picked five portrait uh, styles that we reckon are the best to our users. 
in portraits. It's hard to have the facial colors accurate, so we added HSL technology. It stands for hue, saturation, and luminance values to represent the colors closer to the human perception. So therefore, HSL can smartly correct the facial colors and restore optimized skin tone effect. The front camera also supports artistic portrait mode. In low light, the front-facing soft light can automatically add brightness, achieving a clearer and more natural skin tone. Reno is all about image making, storytelling, and together, we have found new ways to see the world with a pair of fresh eyes. So today, we are honored to collaborate with Magnum Photos, who's also known as the eyes of the world. Their work always maintains a real, artistic, and creative spirit. Now, please welcome Shannon, the Global Education Director of Magnum Photos. Thank you, Andy. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here with you in Zurich. Magnum Photos was created in 1947 in the aftermath of World War II by a group of pioneering photographers. Scarred by what they had seen but hopeful for the future, they founded Magnum as an independent artist cooperative and went on to work with leading media outlets to tell the world's most important stories. Magnum photographers continue to re reflect an idiosyncratic mix of reporter, artist, and storyteller emphasizing not only what it is, what is seen, but also the way one sees it. Over 70 years, Magnum has mastered the craft of visual storytelling, covered key moments in history, created iconic imagery, and expressed a personal vision of the times we live in. Our work can be seen on the cover of magazines, in advertising campaigns, and hanging on gallery walls. If you can think of an iconic picture, Chances are it's a magnum photograph. We represent some of the world's most renowned photographers, and our strength has always been the distinct and varied voices of our membership. The agency is committed to expanding points of view to reflect the complex world we live in, and over the last decade, we have actively sought to expand and diversify our community. So it's an extraordinary time for photography. Millions of people are falling in love with the medium every day, most notably through their mobile phones. Magnum captures and inspires that global audience, showing them that your creativity is only limited by your imagination and not a consequence of the equipment that you're using. Oppo is a leading mobile phone brand serving hundreds of millions of users. As a favored brand of highly creative people, photography has always been a passion and a strength for Oppo. So where once we saw a narrow view of the world through traditional media distribution channels, mobile phone technology and social media has opened our eyes to new opinions, voices, and views of the world. Magnum's partnership with Oppo is significant and represents a joint commitment to developing and supporting the next generation of visual, story visual storytellers. Oppo technology is portable and accessible. It is quiet and discreet. It allows greater flexibility in capturing those key moments. Reno's capabilities reflect this need, delivering high performance both in night mode and with 10 times zoom. Possibilities are expanded by powerful in-camera lenses. So from portraiture to street photography, still life to nightlife, the Reno phone provides professionals and amateurs alike with a sophisticated technology that creative vision demands. So we look forward to creating a meaningful partnership with Oppo, with more details of our exciting collaboration to be announced in the coming weeks. We thank Oppo for their partnership in supporting the next generation of visual storytellers around the globe, and we look forward to seeing how they translate the capabilities of the Reno into stunning visuals. Thanks so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome Trevor Wang, who will introduce us to softwares and applications of our Reno series.
Hi there, I'm Trevor. In general, the Reno series possesses the top-level hardware. Our Reno 10x Zoom is equipped with Qualcomm Snapdragon A55 chipset with LPDDR4 times stand memory. Its efficiency was increased by 70%, and the CPU performance is 45% faster than the previous generation. It's currently the most powerful Snapdragon chipset ever. Battery charging has always been one of the most defining features of Oppo. And last year, when the whole industry started to focus on fast charging, we launched the highest charging system to 50 volts, our Super Vogue Fast Charge. And today, for the brand new Reno 10x Zoom, we introduced our latest charging system, Vogue 3.0. The Reno 10x Zoom is equipped with a 4,065 milliamp battery. Not only is it powerful, but also gives what our users really want, a long-lasting battery they can really count on. For a lot of our users, they want a phone that provides a comprehensive experience, which includes battery capacity, usage time, and charging time. Here, I'm so proud to see we have done all that with our new Reno. In the past, the last trickle charging was the most time consuming during the whole charging process. So, we came up with a solution, a new VFC flash charging algorithm. It reduced the time devoted to the last trickle charging process through the precise control of the voltage and the current. Compared with the previous Volk flash charge, the most important is the Volk low voltage fast charging solution. When you play games, when you want charging, no excess heat and no limits on your performance. So, what else can we expect with our new Oppo new Reno? Entertainment. Oppo Reno is high risk audio certified. The voice frequency is higher than the CD. It provides a better resolution capabilities and high definition music, making an audio visual entertainment experience. If you like to then watch movie on your mobile phone, our Reno 10x Zoom supports the Dolby Atmos allowing you to fully immerse yourself in the movie world. Try to imagine it's your handheld Dolby Studio, creating clear and realistic sound effects. With the headphones on, you will hear a few sports cars flying past you and the insects and birds chirping around you in the tropical jungle. Now, let's see how it sounds like. Sounds cool, huh? Oppo Reno does not only have the top-level hardware, which also had amazing software. Now, I'd like to introduce our latest OS, Color OS 6. Color OS 6 is an in-depth optimization and leverage the full-screen user experience, complete with the flawless design accelerate to make the whole system and user experience lighter and more comfortable. For example, in order to really optimize the full screen, we applied white space instead of the separation lines to reduce information density. The use of gritty colors to create natural transitions it take place of the large color blocks gives you a more pleasant and balanced visual experience. Then, 
we completely redesigned the Color OS system animation. More detailed animations instead of quick, direct, and unnatural effects. Color OS 6 also supports OPPO Cloud services. OPPO Cloud service can automatically synchronize your data like um, your photo, video, contents, browser marks, audio recording, your Wi-Fi passwords, and other information to the cloud. When you move to a new mobile phone, all you need to do is log in your OPPO account and download, from, download from your, your data from the cloud to your mobile device. In addition, OPPO Cloud Services will provide users with 5 GB of free storage space, enough on average for 2,560 photos. Another major improvement in ColorOS 6 is the system performance. We call it HyperBoost 2.0. HyperBoost 2.0 is a system-level solution independently developed by OPPO, which includes System Boost, App Boost, and Game Boost. It brings significant improvements in terms of the system speed, app opening speed, and the game reaction. We know that games are always one of the most heavily loaded application scenarios that our consumers can use. It's logic to imagine that if AAA title games can be handled easily, the ordinary application will surely not a problem. ColorOS uses the latest HyperBoost 2.0, which contains upgraded Game Boost 2.0, and other key technologies we name it Touch Boost and Frame Boost. Touch Boost is a technology used to optimize the touch control acceleration of mobile phones. It streamlines the touch response logic from bottom up, improves touch priority, and makes the users feel more in tune with the game. Through Touch Boost, when you play the game like the PUBG M, the moving endpoint speed will be increased by nearly 22% on Reno. Victory or defeated, that's all depends on those precious milliseconds saved by this way. Then, frame boost come from the frame rate acceleration, a special optimization of GM. Everybody has such experience the frame suddenly disconnected on the screen, especially at a critical moment. When there are too many characters in the, in the screen simultaneously, it needs to occupy system resources to process. And the most of the mobile phones, I had to say, often do not match. But let's imagine that before a team fighting, when heroes are drawing close to each other, Timely dispatched resources will be works if the system knows in advance. With improving the frame rate and the stability of the whole game. On top of that, how can we make our gaming experience more promoted? Our RD team started with the common pain points that our users made over headache. When you play games, one of the worst things is your phone is overheating and performing weakly. The Reno 10 times Zoom use tray cooling control system including thermal gel, graphite shade, and Cooper pipe liquid cooling system control the whole temperature of the mobile phone. When you play games with Reno, the tough hardware configuration plus excellent software optimization enables our users to immerse themselves in the real game world. And I, to, and I had to see the Reno gaming performance is no mere boast. Reno has already obtained the Tube's game certification. OPPO Reno series is the world's first mobile phone to obtain Tube's high performance certification for games. It's our partners in their testing department, we have passed 55 items in 31 categories in four dimensions, 
requiring communication, endurance, screen, and system, which aligns with users' real-life habits. We believe that the best mobile phone experience is to combine seamless hardware and amazing software optimization. Not a single one of each can be dispensed with. ColorOS is the perfect partner for top-line specifications in, re in this regard. And present, ColorOS has over 250 million users around the world, and it will continually to bring more intelligent and worry-free software experience to users. Oppo has created a wonderful device in the Reno series, bringing with the creativity in such fields like design, photography, software, and gaming. Now, I would like to end my part and leave you guys a video about this product. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Neil Young, Senior 5G Standard Engineer at Oppo. Hi, everyone. My name is Neil from Oppo. With each generation of mobile communication technology, there is a nature evolution from sophistication to commercialization with multiple AFAX of innovation and digital transformation. As you all know, 5G is a very, very hot world today. At the beginning of 5G, we, Oppo, have partnered with all the companies in the industry, including operators, infrastructure vendors, and chipset vendors, together to start research and implementation of such 5G specification which could satisfy all use cases and requirements in the next 10 years. Well, previous generation of internet connect connectivity focused primarily on consumer communication. 5G will take digital transformation to an entirely new level. With high throughput, low latency, superior connect connectivity, 5G will be the game changer which makes IoT, 3D, and the graphic video call, and even AI, a global reality. Today, the Oppo 5G Reno is the first commercial example of this potential, and our close partnership with Swisscom in Switzerland will be the first countrywide example of how we make 5G a reality. The high throughput and the low latency offered by 5G technology and 5G smartphone means that users will be able to access unprecedented service and applications. The ultra high download speed, which could be 1.5 gigabps or more than that, will make streaming available everywhere and large file downloads are achieved in one second. When connected, users will be, be able to immerse themselves in more vivid AR and VR games. And they will also be able to connect with each other and experience fluid group call with guaranteed service requirements. Moreover, the 5G Reno will be perfect for gamers, especially those ones involved in online cloud gaming. Looking towards 
the immediate future, we are strengthening our partnership with Shadow to further explore improvements in 5G cloud gaming to bring AAA experience to mobile gamers and address issues like time lags, freezing, and battery life drains. It will also streamline cloud-based updates and trials and ensure a fair gaming environment. With all these efforts, and as 5G accelerates, we, Oppo, would like to be the co-part of such kind of multiplayer online battle arena games. As a summary of my part, 5G technology will be able to connect everything around us with an array of intelligent devices, and our smartphone will be the central part of such kind, kind of intelligent UEs. That's all, thank you. So now let's welcome Enrico from Qualcomm to be on the stage. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Neil. Thank you. Thank you, Neil. Thank you, very pleased and happy to be here today with the Hoppo. Thank you to Alan. Thank you uh, to Hoppo to have us here. Qualcomm, we are working on the technology side. We provide the engine of the uh, Oppo device in terms of uh, uh, the CPU, the modem, what we call the chipset. For us, we are very much on the technology. So we are uh, intrigued in creating the new architecture of the CPU, the GPU, the SP, the modem. But we are very, very much pleased when we see the impact of our technology in terms of product. And partnering with Oppo is very important because they are really extracting all the features set and the performance that are embedded in the chipset to create a so nice experience. Because the smartphone, at the end of the day, for us, is the way to interact. So the experience is through the smartphone. <clears throat> Talking about what is inside the engine, definitely 5G. Neil was presenting the 5G. 5G is really the step forward in terms of the connectivity is an evolution of the 4G, is a, a revolution in a way, introducing new performance on data rate. We can achieve data rate like in a fiber uh, on the landline. We can uh, uh, reduce the low latency down to one millisecond, so we can enable application and services that before was not possible to achieve uh, in a wireless environment. And uh, the 5G is here is uh, here in terms of products, the smartphone, is here in terms of network, in terms of service. Swisscom launched the service at 10th of April. Switzerland is on the front, the pack, of launching 5G in Europe. But all the countries in Europe are in the same stage in uh, launching by first half. We have the uh, auction, so the frequency spectrum available in Spain, in Italy, in UK, in uh, Austria, Germany is closing, Finland, uh, the auction. So, this is happening now, it's ready. And this is why the product is super important, the smartphone, the Oppo Reno 5G, that is uh, using our uh, premium platform, 8550, uh, that is uh, introducing the modem for 5G, we call it the SDX50, but is also evolving the roadmap in terms of CPU, AI, GPU, and uh, the Wi-Fi, the connectivity in general. So super important collaboration with partners like Oppo to make available devices that are extracting all the feature set and performance embedded in our platform. This is the, what we really can achieve. Actually, we have been able to go under the Swissmon network uh, up to 1.8. Uh, more than what uh, Neil was calling, but this has been done with the Ericsson Network as a partnership and is a live demo done uh, in Zurich uh, on the 10th of April. So again, 5G is here. This is real. All of that is happening because of the innovation. This is very much in our DNA, and we need partners like Oppo working with us on the innovation. Innovation implies actually a long journey to have the 5G device, 5G roadmap. We started with the standardization 10 years ago. 
So going through three GPP, there is a long process. Then you have to go through the test, the trial, uh, demoing. You create the first uh, circuit able to deliver the modern 5G. Then you go with the IoT. Then you work with the operators, uh, like Swisscom, to test on the field. And finally, we have the product ready to go. So a long journey. You see the tip of the iceberg with the 5G device, but there is a lot of work behind the scene. And so this is why it's important working with Oppo. We see Oppo a partner with the same attitude of innovation, capturing new ideas, new performance, and able to translate those performance in a device, in a product, with a great performance. So again, the Reno 5G device using 855 platform by Qualcomm, a platform that is introducing the 5G modem, a platform that is evolving also the 4G modem to performance up to 2 gigabit per second, a platform that is introducing AI. This is the fourth generation for us on uh, AI architecture with the neural architecture to enable the AI performance that is introducing camera. We support up to seven cameras, 48 megapic, uh, megapixels that has been presented in, in the Reno device, but we can handle up to seven cameras total. And of course, uh, improving performance comparing the previous generation, 45% more CPU versus the 845, more than 20% versus the previous generation of uh, uh, GPU. So, this is just a start, because uh, thanks to the 5G, thanks to the combination of 5G with AI, in particular artificial intelligence, we expect to set the precondition with uh, new service and application, new user experience that will be achieved uh, through the phone. So I have the phone here. This is real, available, and it's important that you go and buy the phone now with the 5G. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome back on stage for Vincent Wang. Thank you, Annika. During our last innovation event at MWC in February, we launched OPPO's 5G lending project with our four partner carriers, Swisscom, Texture, Optus, and Centaur. Last week, our 5G lending project moved a step forward in the Middle East with our partner, Zend and Estisara. At the beginning of April, we successfully launched our output, Reno 5G, with our partner, Swisscom. We are also working with Orange in 5G. One more thing. Opal's Reno 5G will be available on the EE network in UK this summer. Vincent, uh, thank you. Please just uh, stay on stage for a while while we welcome Alan Wu, sure. Vice President of Oppo. Please. We would also like to invite our partners back onto the stage for a group photo. Please welcome back Enrico Salvatore, President of Qualcomm Europe, Dirk Wyszbitski, Member of the Board of Swisscom, and Danny Marshall, the Vice Portfolio Director at EE. It's a huge honor to have you here with us for this leap forward of the OPPO 5G landing project. Five. 
Five. Give me five. Give me five. <laughs> I stay here. Your time. Now, please give a warm round of applause for Dirk Wisbitzki. We can't wait to hear all about the 5G connectivity in Switzerland. All right, good afternoon. Welcome to Zurich. Welcome to Switzerland, one of the best countries of the world, I think. And hopefully you're using also one of the best networks in the world, which is uh, obviously Swisscom's network. Uh, I hope you can enjoy it and have a good experience. Having a great network is central to our market positioning and our competitiveness here in the countries. Um, it's what our customers expect from us. It's what we deliver constantly in the uh, past in the present, but then obviously we also have the intent to deliver that in the future. And the future obviously is very much about the next generation, which is 5G. And so therefore, um, you know, we want to pioneer 5G and we have been searching for pioneers to join us, uh, you know, in this journey and bring about a great customer experience. And obviously Oppo, you know, is such a pioneer. Um, it is about, you know, seizing new opportunities. We believe that 5G will unleash a whole lot of new innovation, as has done 2G, as has done 3G and 4G in the mobile space. Some will just be, you know, better innovation for applications that we know already, and some stuff will be things that we have no idea yet, you know, that they will be coming. Um, our plan is rather aggressive, to be honest. Um, it was mentioned earlier on, just, you know, just uh, Two weeks ago, we made the announcement, and just last week, on that day, on Wednesday the 17th, we switched on the first European uh, commercial operational network, so 5G is available. Even on this site here, I hope you later on, when you have Oppo devices with 5G, that you can get a sense of the experience and uh, try it out. Um, we are very proud of that achievement, and, uh, you know, it's also needed. Why is it needed? Um, well. One of the biggest reasons, obviously, you know, mobile traffic is growing and growing and growing. There is traffic between people, traffic between people and applications in the Internet uh, and elsewhere. And, you know, uh, more importantly, increasingly, IoT will come to the place, so ever more connectivity will be there. And so, therefore, 5G is urgently needed. Data volumes are exploding. On an afternoon today, we are transferring the data volume that, you know, we had in a week just a few, weeks ago, a few, a few years ago. Yeah? So we need to cope with that, and therefore, 5G, obviously, is a technology of choice. We are utilizing two variants here to roll this out. Um, one, obviously, is like the new data highway, the mobile data highway that uh, 5G will bring. We call that 5G fast. Um, for the uh, technologists amongst you, that is you know, the spectrum that we use in the 3.5 gigahertz range, where we have 100 megahertz allocated there. And in combination then uh, with the 2.x gigahertz ranges, that gives you top speeds of at around 2 gigahertz. Yeah? We actually demonstrated in a live network, not in a lab environment, in a true live network, um, peak big rates, as you saw them just now on the picture also before, of 1.86 gigabits per second. Uh, also, uh, to the best of our knowledge, you know, that's the world premiere and the world's first. So that's 5G fast, as we call it, like that new data highway. But then obviously we are also taking care of, you know, bringing 5G as soon as possible, you know, to everybody in the country. And for that we utilize a feature that is called dynamic spectrum sharing. So on the 2.x gigahertz bands, you know, we uh, 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 use 4G and 5G sort of simultaneously in a very dynamic way, but with that you get 5G. You don't get to the top speeds of 2 gigabit per second, but you still have the goodness of, for instance, uh, the better latency that 5G brings. Um, there are some skeptics around there that say, you know, who needs this, who needs it now, is it only for early adopters or what? We commissioned a market research study and we figured out that already 47% of consumers, without having even had a device or a network at hand, just from what they learned from the press and media and internet and so on and so forth, 47% already say, I'm super curious of what 5B brings. Even more actually say, 
Uh, I'm confident that 5G will, you know, uh, make my network experience better. And uh, also more than 50% actually say, I'm confident that 5G will be doing good for uh, me as a person, for the society as such, and for the business and economy. So there's great expectations there, and people can't wait to get their hands on it. Um, we've seen some of the futuristic things that will come, like with AR, VR, and so on and so forth, but we also believe, as a customer, when you get a 5G device, uh, you know, in May, you have immediate benefits. What are those? Um, with 5G, obviously, there's new spectrum. New spectrum means new capacity. New capacity means there's a new highway that you can use, which is not yet as crowded as the highways that we have today, because hand to your heart, Every now and then, in the morning, in the evening, in very crowded places like main railway stations or in stadiums or concert halls or whatever, um, you not always have the greatest experience. Now, 5G actually offers relaxation to that, and the new network uh, will bring great experiences there. Uh, then, obviously, there is a fast download speed that we talked about. Uh, and bear in mind, we are living in a society that requires things ever faster, ever more instant. Yeah, so downloading that whole Netflix season within a minute or two is actually a possibility that you can do with 5G now. Then there is short response time. Every third mobile user is a gamer also, so that gives you a clear advantage in gaming. But not only there, even for things like application using or browsing or whatever, with 5G, everything just feels more slicker, more swifter, more instant, more immediate. Go and check it out and you will see. Um, so, we are happy to have uh, that partnership with uh, OPPO and also with our colleagues from uh, Qualcomm and Ericsson who does our mobile network infrastructure. We have been working uh, hard, you know, to bring this all together for a great experience. Um, OPPO devices will be uh, available early May in the Swisscom shops. The, switch, the network is switched on right now and uh, the tariffs are also available. There's actually no surcharge here in Switzerland, you know, to use a 5G network, just uh, FYI. We really want to make it a service available for as many people as possible. So, I can't wait to have it in our customers' hand. You know, as said earlier on, I believe strongly that 5G will provide new opportunities for individuals as for business and will, you know, push matters ahead as did the other uh, generations before, and we will see unprecedented uh, innovation and new opportunities for people. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dirk, for these very interesting developments. And let's invite Vincent back onto the stage one more time. Thank you, Dirk. Not it comes to the last, but not the least. Let's have a quick view on the key features of Reno series. Now, I guess you are wondering the price of Reno series, right? The Reno leaders at 499 euros. And will be available on 10th May. The Renault 10 times zones retails at 799. Will be available in every drone. And the Reno 5G retails at 8.99 and 9.99 Switzerland francs, and will be available in May. That's it for today's Reno presentation. Please. Get your hand on Reynolds to our experience zone and enjoy the last of today. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being with us. And a big thank you to our keynote speakers for those fantastic presentations. 
We are now inviting you to explore the Oppo Experience Zone. Please check what we've prepared for you behind the stage.